Hello. <laughs> Here's a little spontaneous um, video. Okay, I have been thinking about doing these um, small videos and I did mention that at the end of the last video. So what I'm thinking about doing is, well, I really like it when somebody does a like a brand specific video and I thought maybe I could do that brand or designer specific so I thought I would show like what I have finished from them what whips I have at the moment and what I have waiting in the stash and maybe even what I may have on the wish list. Possibly mention where to get them. Like I said, I haven't really planned very much, so it's like, yeah, you're getting something. So I was thinking I would start with Riolis. I have no idea why, just felt like starting with them. I went and got my big bag of <laughs> finishes from under the bed. Gosh, it is embarrassing, you know, they're just all sitting there. Anyway, I only have three Riolis finishes. I, I, I know I have a fourth one, but it is a tiny one and I don't even know where it is. I got it as a freebie, like a very small kit. Oh, I think I just remembered I have a fourth one. I need to go get. Okay, I'm back. I found it. <laughs> okay, so I have four finishes to show you. I'll show first the one that I just went and get. I, it's just a small one. Very, very cute though. <laughs> I got this kit from my lovely friend Sherry at Hecate's Needle, if you want to go watch her. I ended up using a different fabric though, nice sparkly one. But they see, it was a really nice quick stitch, gorgeous, happy, bright colours. Um, so this one is stitched, um, all my realist finishes are done with the wool acrylic threads and the best thing about them is that you get unbelievably good coverage like you will you will not complain about the coverage because it looks looks really really good love the back stitching and it just yeah it just ends up looking absolutely amazing i know people are a bit divided when it comes to those threads but I think it's mainly because they just they just different, you know. They they're not bad. I know that um, for some people they they get start, like start sneezing because the you know, wool so because there's bits of flying in the air. Then when you're stitching, and um, and of course they look different. They sit in a different way. When you make your cross because you're used to how dmc sits when when you make the cross so then when you have something a bit bouncier a bit fluffier a bit fuller it, it it makes you look like you know oh that looks terrible but it really doesn't look like when when it's finished you know it just looks great it just looks great i mean absolutely nothing to complain about that one gosh it's cute Need to make something from that. Okay, need to unroll. Well, you'll definitely remember this one since it's a finish from this year. The gorgeous hen and chicks. Absolutely amazing. Now I'm looking like, was this actually DMC or not? <laughs> I'm looking, I can't even, even tell sometimes. Oh 
yeah it looks just so beautiful i love it that the colors are just so um so bright those flowers but my 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 that was such a challenging stitch and honestly i could not have finished it without getting the saga file for it i i really needed that help my favorite part of this is actually like this greenery that i have stitches here in the background i feel like it just looks so lovely yeah i really 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 do like the way it looks oh it's so, it's so pretty and yeah this one is done with the wool acrylic as well. <laughs> yeah now i'm a bit lost um i will try to remember to to write underneath the number of these kits because the kits that i've had um have been like the the russian versions of them so they usually only have the number that is marked on the kit the english like the overseas package uh packages kit packets they, they have an english name for each kit now so makes it a i don't know a bit easier then i have another finish yeah, which is the globe flowers, which are my, my, one of my favorite flowers. I think they are amazing. It's another beautiful kit, another one. Yes, done with the wool acrylic. So great, great, great coverage. I think with this one, my only disappointment was the back stitching. There wasn't very much of it and I really would have wanted some more but when you look at the picture like you know it it's not like it's lacking still looks amazing and the last finish is from la i finished it last i love this one oh i like this one so much the buildings are amazing, but my favorite part is the the snow. I love it that it's snowing everywhere. Oh, and yes, also done with the wool acrylic. This one is actually the only kit where I ran out of a thread. I ran out of the white, and I think it's because I was I was just jumping around a lot, so fairly wasteful. <laughs> <laughs> with my wide but it is such a nice kit and if you like this kit definitely head to the um etsy store i think it's yeah it's uh riolis cross stitch is the shop there and this one i think is 70 percent off there at the moment they have quite a few kits on on the clearance like when you go to the shop just they have the different categories top so go to the very last one i think is the clearance one um but be careful because there's also diamond painting ones so make sure that you do pick a cross stitch so this one is in aussie dollars i think it was 20 dollars. so i guess that's pretty much 10 us so well worth getting and also I have a, a kit that I haven't started yet that is, is, is like a, well, maybe from the same series, and that is also in the clearance. Okay, those were the only realist finishes that I have. I'm, I thought that I would have more, but what surprised me is that I only have currently one whip one realist whip i mean how is that even possible but i know how it's possible because i had two more but i got rid of one because i didn't want to stitch it it was it was that really colorful pillow 
and then another one was the dandelions and I gave that for my friend Donna so she's gonna have to stitch that so the only whip that I have which might of course change soon is this one one five five zero so you can see there's the the number instead of the name I think this is such a beautiful beautiful kit but it's it's one that I really struggle to get into stitching and as usual I have no idea why it just sometimes happens so there is not much oh lordy where is that thread stuck oh, I hate it when there's stuff hanging right this is all that I've done so a bit of leaves and a bit of the berries that's it oh. I somehow feel like I need to, I don't know, maybe come my way to the very top and start there. I don't know. But yes, not, not very much done. I like it that the Riolis patterns are gorgeous and colorful. I, I don't know, my biggest nightmare is now black and white pens. And the threads come in these cards, as you see there. They are a little bit, have a bit of fluff to them, but don't the colors just look, they look really rich. They look rich and lovely. This one also comes with the finishing instructions as well as the end bits, which is great. Just need to try and get this finished one day. Right, so I think I'm gonna hop to the other side of this bookshelf and then show you the kits that I have. Might be easier to show them there instead of the... Oh, will it? Will it? I will do that. Okay, so here I am again. So the first one, the kids, is this one, which one, it is called Night Park, and it does have a number as well, so 2064. I just, I love the mood of this one and, and the autumn colours. It's funny that the only thing I would like to remove here is the dog. <laughs> Even though it's a cute dog, but you know, I don't know. Dogs just, dogs in cross stitch just, I don't know. They just aren't somehow aren't for me. But I, I, I think, I think I'll stay anyway. I love how the trees are looking here with those lights, and of course it's a nice rainy day. Such beautiful colours. Yeah, like this a lot. Let's have a look at the other side. Absolutely gorgeous colours. I always love seeing the previews of other kits that they have. I always have to hope that there's nothing that I, I happen to want. Okay, so, oh, oh dear. Are they coming down soon? And the next one. is um, Starry Night over the Rhone after Van Gogh's painting. Gosh, how amazing does it look? I saw a picture of it in like a golden a frame and wow, absolutely amazing. But this one is done on like a really, wait, not like some more number count fabric yeah 10 count fabric because it's done with the wool acrylic so i'm not quite sure how it's gonna be but i mean 
The preview looks great, so can't really go wrong. I am looking forward to trying. I have thought about it, whether to change it to like 14 count and then not go with so many strands, maybe. Make it a bit smaller. I don't know. But would it then work out? You always think that, you know, they have tried these things and figured out the best way to do it, so... I don't know, did I already say it was 1884? Oh yeah, I can't see the threads because they are the inside. Here is a kit that has been like on my wish list for quite a while. I just don't know. I don't know, I feel like I feel like this will be me, be me just sulking there in the flowers, among the flowers. Hoping, maybe hoping that the rain will come, even though it's a, what, a parasol. Oh, I just love it. It's a lovely painting. Really lovely painting. Oh. So there was number two. Let me reach for the third one. Here it is. So much lighter than the other one. So black work and cross stitch. This one is called Red Rose Hip. It's number 1916. Girls, looks so amazing. All the black work there. That's beautiful. I really do like black work and cross stitch combined. I'm, I'm not so much of a fan with just black work by itself. But yeah, when it's combined with more solid areas, I think it, it makes it look prettier. Lovely. I still haven't started another black work project since I finished the, the birds and black work flowers. Well, I started one, but I wasn't then happy with the fabric, so I haven't restarted that one yet, so maybe one of these Riolis ones, because I have two of the blackwork ones, maybe one of them will be started. This is a fairly recent purchase. Gosh, look at all those flowers. That is amazing, that field. And all the deers there hanging out. This one is called the Blooming Meadow. Yeah, it's not really that big. Even though it looks so long. Number 2066. This one is done with anchor. Anchor threads. On 14 count. That's a cute pillow. God, I keep seeing this sort of thing so quite often on the Russian. Wow. Good, gorgeous colours. So pretty. Here's that one again. Two more. Okay, so this one is the same series as the one I finished. And the one you can find discounted at the moment on the Realist Etsy shop. I can't wait to stitch this one. It's like the autumn, autumn version of it. And not as many buildings, even though I already dread all the rain. <laughs> of course. But still, I think it'll be it'll be fun to do. So this one is 1490. Realist kits most often come with 14 count fabric, it's a light card fabric. And this has the wool acrylic yarn as well. Nice. Oh, this was something about this kit though. Like I was a bit disappointed with because it was like a lighter color blue, which I really liked. But then that's what came with it. Um, I mean, it ended up looking just fine, but I think I would have preferred the. I I. It drives me a good bit crazy when the fabric isn't the same as in the cover picture. I do not like that. Doesn't make me happy. 
Anyway, I'm going to still stitch this the, in the same one since it's the same color as the other one. Yeah, it's funny that, you know, it's wool acrylic, you know, but it doesn't exactly look thick or anything. And you just use the, you don't have to um, divide the thread into strands. You just use it straight up. Hmm. There we go, and on to the last one, which is the other black work one. And doesn't it just look stunning? I I just I I love it. I do think that I should start this one. I mean why not? It's Christmassy. Maybe I should do some seasonal stitching. <laughs> I just love, I mean, the the, the uh, mandarins, they look so bright. And I guess it's like mulled wine or something. It looks nice, spicy wine. And I love these dark purples here against the black. Well, will be some, some, some of this a bit challenging, I think. Just looking at all of that, oh my. But I can manage that, I can get it done. Cinnamon quills. Oh, I love the mandarin. God, I love the color change. It looks so gorgeous. So there you go. That's it. That's all the riolas that I have. And while I'm here, I've got the iPad here, so I, I am at the riolas cross stitch Etsy shop. And of course on the phone, all the categories are top, but here they are. So there's the clearance. And there's just lots of different ones, different price points and whatnot. I thought it was well worth going, going to check. But the good thing is I have already so many waiting that I think I'd better not have a too good of a look. They also have these... Um, wait, wait. There we go. These gift boxes at the moment where you buy a box and you get like a surprise pack. So I think the big one had like five kits, was it? No, it has five. You get five kits. And that's of course the price is in Aussie dollars. So for American, it's, you know, pretty much half. Uh, Yeah, five, five, five kits. I feel like one of them was going to be like a, um, okay, let's have a look. It would be so tempting, wouldn't it? Get the threads, do you know? Yeah, so... It, I think what scares me is a bit the satin stitch ones, <laughs> or the children. So, so yep, yeah, depends on then which size you get. I think what kind of kits you get. Okay, so I then wanted to show a few things that are either on my wish list, or I've just been admiring, or whatever reason. I mean. It could be, it would be so easy to spend ages doing this because they really do have amazing kits. But it is maybe not surprising that I really quite like this one. I love the seagull. Seagull sitting, there's another one there. And the sky looks, I love good clouds. It looks great, water looks great. I don't like the turtles here, so would I maybe cut that turtle out? Make it a bit shorter. Yeah, I think I would. I would do it. I would chop it there. So, yeah, it's really nice. Um, but this one is called Beach Swing, kit 2215. Then another one, the swing, but a cat this time. But how gorgeous are all those greens? And I love the... The bit of sun there around the key. 
looks gorgeous. Okay, wait, 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 where's my finger? Would that ball be needed there? I don't know, it could be nicer, not even nicer without. But how do you replace the thing? I don't know. But still, it is a beautiful kit. Absolutely gorgeous. This one is 2115 and called Garden Swing. This one, I don't think this will ever go to my shopping cart. I just really love the look of it. This is one of those kits that I, I wish I saw someone stitching it. Because I would love to see it go. Like, the light through the foliage is just so lovely. I I think it's absolutely beautiful. This one is kit 2116 Forest Spirit. Lovely. So lovely. Well, here's the one I showed earlier. So this one is 1850 in the meadow. So it's a Monet, Monet painting. Oh, it's fabulous, fabulous painting. And this one is a little bit different, Realist Kid. I think it is so cute. I love these ones that have like different parts to them. You get like, you know, little achievements by finishing one square. I think it's so cute. I think it's called uh, Apple Day. I have cut it off the <laughs> cut off the, the information there. But amazing. So this one, I so badly want someone to stitch this because that purple looks just so gorgeous. I don't know what it is with purple on me nowadays. But it looks so fantastic. Someone stitched it. This one, this is kit uh, 2212, crowned crane. Oh, here's another one of their um, black work and cross stitch ones. Uh, Lace peonies, kit 2024. Those colors, wow. I mean, if they pop this much already in the picture, you know, I think the real life must be amazing. Wow, so beautiful. This one is sort of half in my wish list. I really like these blueberries. I love the colors um, in this kit, especially like the pinks and the different blues and what I just, it just looks really nice. I just always keep thinking I've bought so many berry patterns and everything, but I mean, would one more hurt? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, this one is called, well, Ripe Blueberry. It's a kit one, uh, sorry, 2168. And here's another one of the flowers with um, black work. Wow. This one is Lace Poppies, kit 1991. My goodness. Unbelievably gorgeous. Don't know if there's any cross stitches in this one. There's definitely half stitches there and lots and lots of black work. Absolutely amazing. Okay, I would lose my mind with all these French knots here, though. Okay, here's one that has, has been on my wish list now for a little bit. I really like this one. And this one is in the shop Yarn Stories, which is in Lithuania. They have a huge selection of really great kits and fabrics in their shop. I, I just, I really like this. I like the river. I like the birch trees there. I like the cows, like the chicken and the rooster, the flowers. Oh, it is just beautiful. I think, unfortunately, I just haven't wanted to spend the money. I get this one and yeah, just need to try and not, not buy so much. But it is Beautiful. If I was given a free kit from Riolis right now, this is the one I would pick. <laughs> so this one is by the river and kit number 2101. Is that all I saved? Gosh, that's it. That's where I stopped. And I remembered that I still have one more whip 
by Riolis that I forgot to show. Let me quickly grab it. I can't believe I forgot it. Yes! How could I forget this one? It is... <laughs> can't believe I forgot it. Anyway, this is one of the Riolis premium kits. And it is, of course, Girl with the Pearl Earring of the Vermeer's painting. And I'm sure you remember, if you've been watching, I worked on this during the Tour de France. Finished the whole face. Yeah, and here she is. She is so beautiful. So beautiful. I've done a little bit lower here, but not that far. So the next bit would be to get going with with the scarf but well I think this realist version is definitely the nicest one I have seen of of this painting like a cross stitch um, made of this painting I think most um, looks most like the painting and this one is done with the um, with anchor isn't it goodness why am I so lost with these yeah yes it is God. it's just a oh, stay put no it still wants to fall before there we go so there's just a little bit of back stitching in the eye and I think there was tiniest bit here in the mouth but that's that's all the back stitching there is in this one it was so funny stitching this and how the face just kept changing. It just looked so weird at some point and I thought it would never look nice. But here we are. Beautiful face. And that's pretty much it. Um, I think I already mentioned where the best places are probably to buy them. So they really it's their own shop or yarn stories on Etsy. If you're in Australia, Amazon now has um, Riolis kits and sometimes in um, really good prices. And um, also, of course, JK's has always a really good selection of different kits they can order in. They don't always have the them in stock, but they'll definitely get them in. So, I think I think that's it that's it for realists and hope i didn't forget anything so i hope you I hope you enjoyed watching this little video